Yeah, good morning. So this is Veer Ashtar Kareti, working as Ashtar Professor in St. Martin Engineering College. Today, I want to discuss the topic in this engineering chemistry, that is the softening of water. So where the hot water containing the all the impurities, the suspended matter, uh, and uh, all other uh, cations or anions uh, can be filtered by this uh, process of softening of water. So in this softening of process, we have two types of techniques. Uh, that is the uh, ion exchange process or demineralization process and uh, reverse osmosis. So how can we take down this uh, techniques, what are the uh, process uh, involved in this uh, to purify the hot water and uh, exit the soft water which can be used for different industrial purposes and uh, domestic activities. So the process of removing the hardness uh, producing salts uh, from water is known as softening of water or conditioning the water. So if you see the first one, ion exchange or demineralization. So, so where the, it involves the, the process of removal of almost uh, all cations and uh, anions uh, <coughs> present in the hard water. So in this process, uh, the functional groups, so we have two types of uh, resins, uh, uh, nothing but uh, so which are the responsible uh, filters to remove the uh, uh, waste minerals and remove the, all the impurities in the hard water. So there are two types of resins involved in this uh, equipment, ion exchange equipment, that is cation exchange resin. So made up of uh, sulfonated coals, so which is a uh, having the functional group RH2 and uh, another one anion exchanger which is having the functional group ROH. So these are examples you can take the cation exchanger as a sulfonated coals so which is uh, placed in the left chamber of the ion exchange equipment that is cation exchanger that is nothing but a sulfonated coal so which is a uh, having functional group acidic functional group RH2. Next uh, an anion exchanger which is kept in the uh, right side chamber, so which is uh, made up of the cross linked with quaternary ammonium uh, salts uh, having the basic functional group ROH. So, in this process, uh, so first uh, resin, so what is the function of this resin? We must know. So, resin containing the uh, RH2, it takes up the all the cations, it takes up the all the cations uh, and exchanges with the H plus ions of the resin and removes all the cations like the calcium plus, magnesium plus, okay, and the aluminium, so whatever the cations present, so it uh, exchanges with the, all these cations will exchange with the hydrogen of that uh, cation exchange resin. Next the function of the anion exchanger, you can see, here the, the functional group uh, ROH, the OH minus ion in this uh, anion exchanger will uh, take up, will or uh, exchange the, all the anions uh, so like Cl minus, OH minus, sulphate, SO4 2 minus present in the water. So all anions are exchanged in this anion exchange present which is present in the right compartment. So in the process of this ion exchange, so we are allowing the raw water, so allowing the hard water or raw water from this left chamber and where the, the hard water containing all this the cations, so like calcium plus, magnesium plus and Na plus, potassium plus will completely link up with the cation exchanger. So where it takes up like this, RH2 plus calcium chloride, so which is having calcium cation, so it is converted to R RCA plus To it here. So like this, the cation present in this uh, hot water is taken up by the resin and it is converted to other remaining ingredients which can be removed from the uh, left uh, outlet. So like this, all the cations uh, containing the uh, calcium uh, salts, uh, cations containing salts are purified in this uh, cation exchange. So like calcium chloride, magnesium sulphate, sodium chloride, all these cations uh, are removed in this uh, cation exchange. And next, uh, this water which is free from this uh, cations uh, is uh, allowed to enter into the anion exchange. 
so where the the water having this uh, anion salts are removed by this anion exchanger so which is having ROH functional group see next uh, in this uh, the anions may be in the form of uh, chlorides hydroxides sulfates chlorides hydroxides and uh, sulfates so like this ROH we we'll take up this uh, all chlorides present in this uh, ROH is the salt salts may be the chlorides, calcium chloride or any sulfates SO4 to minus will be taken up by this ROH and converts to or so where this all OH minus ions are, are linked up to this anion all the anions and it is removed as a waste product. So like this the anions uh, from the salts are removed in this uh, the right compartment so which is uh, the hot water completely is free from the cations and anions so uh, next the uh, final uh, <coughs> purified water is nothing but the deionized water so deionized water or uh, demineralized water is can be used for industrial purpose or domestic activities so in this way uh, you can prepare the uh, soft water from the hot water by this uh, ion exchange process so we can regenerate this uh, uh, resins also so by replacing the dilute HCl so and by replacing the NaOH uh, by replacing the dilute HCl we can regen regenerate the cation exchanger and by replacing the dilute NaOH we can regenerate the uh, anion exchanger so where all this uh, so all this uh, resin cation exchange resin which is uh, linked up with this uh, H plus uh, ions uh, is replaced by the chloride of HCl and uh, we can uh, purify this cation exchanger. Similarly, in this uh, anion exchanger, so which is linked up to complete OH minus ions of the impurities, so can be regenerated by using NaOH where OH minus <coughs> OH is uh, OH is replaced, uh, so where OH minus uh, all the anions are replaced by this uh, OH minus. So like this, all this. Uh, process of cations and anions are removed and we can and uh, also regenerate in this process and next process is uh, reverse osmosis so reverse osmosis is working on the principle of uh, osmotic pressure and uh, hydrostatic pressure so how it is uh, purifying the hot water we can know by this uh, uh, example that is one uh, setup we can completely convert the hot water into soft water so where it is the better proper So the process of removing the common salt, sodium chloride, uh, from the <coughs> saline water is known as desalination. So depending on the quantity of the dissolved salts, uh, so generally fresh water contains uh, uh, less than uh, 1000 ppm of uh, uh, salt content and if you see the sea water it has more than uh, 35,000 uh, uh, parts per million of uh, salt content. So, so generally this is required process where there is a deficiency of water. So the salt water is uh, the sea water which is having more salinity is completely uh, is completely removed, desalinated uh, okay, by, by this reverse osmosis process. 
So what is the you know what is the basic principle involving in this? Uh, so we see the uh, osmosis. So what is meant by general osmosis? So osmosis is a so, uh, movement of the solvent from the lower concentration to higher concentration is known as a osmosis. The movement of a uh, solvent from lower concentration to higher concentration is known as general osmosis. So in this movement uh, there is a creation of osmotic uh, pressure. There is a creation of uh, osmotic pressure. So if you are keeping the setup, uh, so the so this is uh, another process uh, in the uh, softening of water that is reverse osmosis. Uh, so in this uh, process, uh, the the saline water is uh, uh, converted into fresh water. So which is uh, is used for different types of activities uh, by men. So where the uh, generally osmosis uh, here the process of osmosis and reverse osmosis. Uh, so we can define the terms uh, general osmosis generally. Osmosis can be defined as a, the movement of solvent, the movement of solvent from lower concentration to lower uh, higher concentration is known as the osmosis. So the driving force for this osmosis is nothing but the osmotic pressure. So osmotic pressure. Here the the water having the more uh, concentration is nothing but saline water which is having more salt content, and the water having lower concentration is nothing but the fresh water. Okay, so nothing but this uh, form is you can define by this uh, uh, osmosis. What is osmosis? The movement of the uh, uh, solvent, movement of solvent from lower concentration to higher concentration is known as the uh, osmo uh, osmosis. See, you see the reverse osmosis. Uh, the reverse osmosis. So what is this uh, reverse osmosis? And how can we prepare the uh, soft water from this uh, saline water? So if you are applying any hydrostatic pressure, so some pressure from external hydrostatic pressure. So they are applying hydrostatic pressure from external side using some piston. So we are allowing the pressure from saline water. So we are allowing the solvent forcibly from higher concentration to lower concentration. So during this process, the salt content in the CL so it does not move to the semi permeable membrane and it leaves behind NaCl so beside this semi permeable membrane so osmotic pressure in this reverse osmosis so we are applying more hydrostatic pressure more than the osmotic pressure so here the piston when it is moved moved towards semi permeable membrane so the water the, the water having more salinity the water having more salinity in from that uh, water, the solvent, the water is completely moved towards other side from the semi permeable membrane and leaves behind the complete salt content in a CL. So like this, uh, so where the movement of water from a uh, higher concentration to lower concentration in presence of a uh, hydrostatic pressure is nothing but the reverse osmosis. So in this way, we can prepare the <coughs> soft water or condition the hard water. So by the two process, ion exchange process and uh, uh, reverse osmosis. So where it can be used for uh, <coughs> different types of activities uh, for industrial purposes and uh, the areas where uh, there is a deficiency of water and at uh, the coastal areas where there is a more salt content. So this is the <coughs> steps involved in softening of water. Thank you.